Well, hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of those pens that you bought me. And uh, I filmed the writing sample a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, I just kind of forgot about it. Uh, this is... Well, let's take a look at it and we'll see why I like it. All right, so as of this recording, I'm. it's been almost six months more than five months since I bought my last pen and so thought I'd make it a good one this is a diplomat arrow and I've never bought a diplomat pen before I almost bought a vintage one but uh, unfortunately it was uh, damaged and you know, the company was kind enough not to deliver it so comes in this cardboard box open the cardboard box and we get a metal box which I don't like excessive packaging so it better be worth it open up the metal box just kind of slides off I don't know what do I do with this box now that's why I don't like excessive packaging and inside we've got a folder deal and there we have the pen and under the pen we've got some literature and no converter so let's find out all right so what we're looking at is a diplomat arrow uh, with the flame finish so what they do is they you know use flames on the steel uh, one thing I'm noticing is it's a very heavy pen apparently this is covered up under some kind of a protective covering uh, we got a nice plain clip nothing there oh yeah, a little bit of branding on the end, the Diplomat flower thing. Nothing on that end. Snap cap, which I, you know, a lot to be said for that. A flower that's on the finial, Diplomat, and I have a broad. This was available in a gold nib, but I couldn't see the point. A metal section, but it's very textured, so I think it'll be okay. And then uh, inside, okay, luckily it came with a converter, which is, you know, just a regular standard international converter that pushes in. So if I'm buying a special pen and it's been six months since I've bought a pen, I should use a special ink. How about some Parker Quink washable blue? And it's getting empty, so I gotta tip it on its side now. So snork down the converter. Snork it back up. I heard some aspirating. Oh yeah. Bubbling. Boom. Two snorks, and it's almost full. Where's my ink cleaning cloth? So the diplomat arrow. Uh, this is a flame version, like I said. Uh, I think the flame's showing up a little bit better here, but uh, I just don't have the right lighting to show this puppy off, I don't think. But anyway, we have Parker Quink. And a very wet pen. Washable blue. Uh, definitely kind of a heavy pen. I'm just wondering how it feels posted. Oh, well, uh, yeah, it kind of wants to just rest and lean back in my hand when it's posted. That's kind of a nice feel. Uh, Parker Quink, uh, okay, except when I actually write at my normal angle. I don't like that so well. Parker Quink washable blue. Uh, as far as flex. Whoops. Flex. No. Uh, this is a fairly stiff steel nib. I'm guessing it's a Yovo nib. It kind of has that look. Yeah, I don't like it posted now that I'm actually writing with it. Uh, wetness and flow. <clears throat> you know, Pierre Gustafson accused me of writing with a heavy hand, and uh, it's kind of hard not to with this pen. Wetness and flow. Smear test. 
You know, it just weights down into the paper so much. But yeah, I'm liking it a lot better unposted. And reverse writing, which is always, you know, a very exciting test. Flip this puppy over. You know, that's actually kind of nice. And finally, speaking of Mr. Gustafson, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Yeah, I think that did very well. So I'm curious to see how well I like this pen in the coming days. So, of course, my spoken comments, which will come later, will be uh, filmed significantly after this. So that was the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, I, the reason it turned into a pen that you bought me is the finish on it is that uh, that bluing that they do on metal uh, steel specifically. Very heavy pen, writes very nicely. Right now I have it inked up with Matahari's Cordial. Very attractive pen. Um, and a comfortable pen. You know, I was sure for years that I would hate this steep step up from the section, but I really don't because I don't hold it there. So it turns out to be a very comfortable pen to use. And so now my only regret is I didn't buy one sooner when they first came out. Back then, you know, orange was the only choice, but hey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I bought this uh, before Christmas of 2021. And, uh, and I haven't really been spending advertising dollars. I've just been letting them build up. Uh, I couldn't really tell you why, but that's what I've been doing. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll end up with a nice new pen out of it. But I, uh, getting back to the diplomat, because that's why you're here, uh, I wasn't sure if I would like a pen this heavy, but I do. You know, it, it just holds itself onto the paper very nicely. You know, you don't feel like you need to push it down or anything. It uh, has a nice nib that just glides smoothly across the paper. I, I'm very pleased with it. You know, cartridge converter pen. Um, I can't think of anything bad to say about it. Uh, one thing I probably would not do with this pen is what I'm about to do. Yeah, it passes the pocket test, but this isn't a pen that disappears up here in your pocket. This is one that's like dragging you forward in a bad posture because it's so flippin' heavy. So, not a pocket pen, <laughs> but uh, it is a nice pen to have in my case from time to time. And I think that fire blue finish on it is just perfect. Uh, I like um, Diplomat's version of this finish a lot better than Caveco's. I just think it's very well done. So, uh, on the whole, very happy I bought this pen. I'm enjoying it. And uh, we'll see how long it takes till I actually publish this review. Just for reference, it's August 22nd, 2022, as I filmed th this part of the video. So, not quite a year since I did the writing sample, but inching towards that. So, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.